everyone. We're back here with Mr. Brown. Hey, Hi, Mr. Brown. Hi. Yes, so and I'm Teacher Edwin here. So we're still talking about the difference between the British and the American English here, okay? So today we're going to talk about going to school, which is very, very important for you viewers right now, okay? So let's see here. Our first word is, um, if a kid is in elementary school, yep. so they're in the grade one, two, threes, four, five, and then uh, how would you say in the British? Well, the junior school. The junior school. And after junior school, they go up to? Secondary school. Secondary school. Oh, okay. So for us, it's elementary school, and then they go up to high school. Yep. That's what we're saying. Good. Okay. All right. And then the next one, next one is, all we always talk about this, it's uh, the numbers, the study of numbers. Yep. Okay. And I always say, hey, do you have a math textbook? Okay. Or do you study math? Apparently, okay? And for the British... Well, I would say, do you study maths? There's an S, S. at the end, maths. Yes. I see, oh, okay. Because it's short for mathematics. So how, how, how do you say a math book? A maths book. A maths book, yeah. oh, okay, with the S, I see, yeah. okay. And this is always a classic one. Everyone knows about this one, but we're going to put it on here. May I borrow your eraser, please? Yes, may I borrow your rubber. That's right. Eraser for us is, you know, something that you rub off. Yeah. Okay, it's a rubber, I see. Good. And um, this is a new one for me, actually. And uh, this is a new word for me. Uh, when we use a pen and we made a mistake, and what I use is to white it out. Yeah. Or use white out, okay? Or, or correction pen, as yeah. you call it sometimes. And well, how would you say I would say Tipex. A Tipex. And apparently I heard it's a... Brand it is, a, it is a brand name. Yes. And so is white out, apparently. I think white out is also a brand yeah. or a white liquid or something like that. Yeah. Brand. But to me, a white out would be very, very, very snow. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Yeah. Let it snow. Uh, white out. Oh, actually, we call it a white out as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, we call it white out as well, so it has two meanings as well. Alright, and the next one we have is a classic game that we used to play with the kids. It's called Tick, Tack, Toe. Just like that. The O's and the crosses. That's right. Okay, and how would you say that? Right. Well, noughts and crosses. Ah, the circles are noughts, as in zero. Zero. And the crosses are crosses, yeah. obviously. We call it the tic tac toe. Tic tac toe. Okay. Yes. And the last one? Okay. The last one's pocket money. Pocket Most money. important thing for children. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any allowance? Okay. Well, we call it allowance. You get an allowance every week. Or maybe every month, or some kids I know they get it like a big lump sum every year, oh. and they spend the whole allowance within the year. That's how they do it. Okay. Well, then you guys would call the pocket. Yeah, money. we normally have it per week. Yeah. Per week, per week usually. I think in, in the last one in, it's about sixty Hong Kong dollars a week. <laughs> I think that was the last. The average. Yeah. Average. I see. Good. Okay. Well, let's go through the list again, Mr. Brown. Um, so you would call it. Okay. A junior school. And I would call it. We're going to the elementary school. Okay. I would say I'm studying maths. And I would say math. Can I borrow your rubber? Yes, you may borrow my eraser, Mr. Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Can I borrow your tipex? No, I don't have any whiteout. I mean. Okay. Do you want to play noughts and crosses? Sure. I love tic tac toes. Okay. Do you get any pocket money? Uh, I have like five thousand dollars for my allowance this year. Lucky you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks again, everyone. Stay okay. tuned about the next one. We're gonna talk about things around our home or okay. our house. Okay. So I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. Bye bye.